Hey everyone, I'm Jana Angel with Trending Today, and in this episode, we're gonna be highlighting America's trailblazers in the world of outdoor adventure. Let's meet our guests, Up Close RV, the satellite phone store, Solo Stove, Tailgater Tire Table, and Expedition Overland. For over a decade, Clay and Rochelle Croft from Expedition Overland have been traveling to the farthest ends of the earth on a mission to lead ordinary people doing extraordinary things. With a YouTube following of over a quarter of a million people and nearly 300 videos that chronicle their adventures, these extreme globetrotters inspire others to transform their own lives through travel and truly think of the world as their very own playground. Subscribe to their YouTube channel or check them out on Prime Video to keep up with more adventures from the Expedition Overland team. X Overland is a reality series that follows us, a crew of Overlanders in our outfitted vehicles through some of the most remote places in the world. It began in 2010, when my wife Rochelle and I decided to invest everything to make our dream of full-time overlanding a reality. For nearly a decade, we've had the opportunity to explore the further places of the world. Places from the wilds of Alaska, the jungles of Central America, and beyond to the most southern end of South America. Guys, so the end of the road, guys, we have made it. Oh, come on! <laughs> you find that like at the end of the roads, it's just it's just an end of the road. Brings up that cliche that it's all, it's what's in between them. Along the way, we forged the best of friendships, witnessed the incredible, and conquered overwhelming obstacles. What drives our channel is the opportunity to inspire, educate, and equip our community. Join us as we strive for new adventures, breathtaking destinations, and unique cultures. We are X Overland. No matter where your adventures take you, our next guest has you covered. Travel with confidence because the team from Whenever Communications will help you achieve global connectivity. Recently, we put their products to the test in the hills of San Diego. Hey everyone, I'm Jana Angel with Trending Today, and in this episode, we're gonna be highlighting America's trailblazers in the world of outdoor adventure, starting right here in San Diego, California. My name is Eric Tallman and I work here at Satellite Phone Store and I go between all of our offices, I visit with our customers and my passion is really finding connectivity that helps people connect wherever they want to go. We give people the ability to communicate wherever they want to go so everybody here likes doing that whether it's just helping somebody work remotely or stay safe or feel safe if they're going offshore or have more redundancy for their business so being able to give people that communications and reliability is really uh, enjoy mine. The scenario that you go into areas where cell phones don't have that coverage, us providing not only that basic communications capability, but also having the ability to provide mission critical data and communications capabilities. You know, aside from just reaching out and saying hello to friends and family, sometimes it's critical for your location, you're in a distressed situation. We bring products that not only keep you connected on a social level, but on a life-saving level. We get a lot of people that come in the doors or come to our website that are just doing what I would say simple personal things like uh, backpacking or hiking or hunting, fishing, these kind of outdoor activities, remote travel, and they just want to either have a satellite phone or a little bit of data connectivity so they can kind of stay gone longer. My name is Spencer Salmon. I am the uh, owner and the captain of the Motor Vessel Horizon, America's number one shark diving boat. We put that satellite up there, man, it has to have been five or six years ago. I haven't touched it. It's been sitting there. We've been through 30 foot seas, 60 knot winds. Uh, the boat is rolling constantly back and forth. And I can be on the 
the phone with the Coast Guard and have no trouble. It's well worth it. Uh, it used to be really expensive. You'd pay by the megabyte through the teeth and every minute was like $9. And over the years, you know, the prices come down. They're much more affordable. They have reasonable plans now. So I would support it even on a recreational boat. If you're going out for more than a few days, it's well worth to have the security behind you. My name is Mark Burnett. I race off-road cars for a living. The last time I had the best communication that I needed the most, for sure, for me, was at the Baja 1000. We were broken down, we had a broken rear arm, and basically if we didn't have the satellite phone, um, we would not be able to communicate with our pits and get it going again. Everybody needs these things. If you're on a boat, if you're out traveling, hiking, even hiking, you know, it's, sometimes your phones don't work in certain areas. There's a lot of places that your phones don't work and the communication now is so amazing, which is really cool for my family and stuff. And they could hear the race here in the United States when I'm down in Mexico, which is, it's unbelievable. It's, it's great to have. Uh, I mean, we take pride helping people figure it out. Um, it may look intimidating, but there's something for any level of communication, no matter what you're doing. So I really do enjoy working with the individuals that are doing this stuff on their own, whether it's backpacking or off-roading, things like that. Um, it can be a little bit intimidating, but on the website, we've got a whole team of web chatters available. You can call in, you can come in. Um, we got a lot of support available to help you make a confident purchase. I think they're the best source for satellite communication for sure because they've been with me for a long time and I've never had a problem and, and uh, they go way over they need to go every time for me. If I need something, if it's a part or anything, they always are asking, you need anything, make sure we are, everything works every single time. So customer service in our industry is huge and uh, you know when I have a problem I can call and they answer 24 hours a day, seven days a week which these days is very unheard of. I'd encourage people that are looking to spend more time outdoors or to back up their businesses to consider talking to us before making any investments and wasting too much time because we do all the research for you and we chase down, hunt down the best technologies we can, the best solar panels, the best batteries, the best satellite phones or internet terminals and we bring them in. And not only do we bring them in, we can rent them from us uh, or we can you know, provide them to you. So by doing that, we're probably one of the most experienced companies. So I'd encourage anyone who's looking into getting outdoors, even if you're not ready, to give us a call or to work with us and we can really help you kind of budget that out and plan ahead. The people behind this next story turn moments into memories, whether you're adventuring across the globe or in your own backyard. Join us in Dallas where the team at Solo Stove has figured out a way to improve upon perhaps the most popular outdoor pastime of all, sitting around a campfire. Hey everyone, I'm Jana Angel with Trending Today, here to explore a company that's committed to making memories and creating a culture that lasts. Let's meet the team from Solo Stove. The name Solo Stove came from this small ultralight backpacking stove called the original Solo Stove. Now it's called the Light, but it was a tiny stove, 4.3 ounces, and it was designed for ultralight backpackers to take and hike. It was really lightweight because you didn't have to pack any fuel in. You could just use twigs and sticks and leaves, and you could boil water in six to eight minutes. Those ultralight backpackers very quickly fell in love with the stove and were like, could you make one slightly bigger where we could maybe cook for like two to four people? And so we came out with a larger one called the Titan. The Titan was, was made and then that was really a, a day hike type product. And then that same customer base came back and said, what about car camping? Like we're at the campsite, we're not gonna be hiking at all, could you make an even bigger one? And we came out with a campfire. Our customer is, is the mom who, who wants to set up an, an awesome fire for their kids to sit around. It's for the dad, it's for the, the backyard hero, it's for the survivalist who just wants to take our smallest camping stove, our light, out on a hike or on a week-long trip. So it's anyone and everyone who enjoys and appreciates being outdoors and reconnecting to what matters most to them. It means a lot to me working at Solo Stove. Solo Stove is an essential business where we take care of our customers. We provide the best quality products whatsoever. And just being a part of this team means everything to me each and every day. We don't sell fire pits and stoves. What we sell are experiences and memories. And so this isn't about 
you know, competing with another fire pit. We've all seen kind of the old bowl fire pit that has tons of smoke coming out of it. I don't even consider that a competitor. We compete with Disney and we compete with these experiential brands that are out there that are providing opportunities for people to gather and make great memories. And what better way to do that than in your own backyard for a few hundred dollars, have a product that you can create those memories over and over and over again. And that's exactly how we think about our brand. The most important thing is being around the people that you love, that love you, and you have the opportunity to show and tell them that. That means so much to me. And with the pits and enjoying the stoves and the grills and the fire, the secondary smokeless pit, it just makes it even better. It just does. Without every single individual, without our customers, without each individual customer telling their friends about it, without each individual here in our office working together well, we wouldn't be able to sustain that growth. At the beginning, it was only a small wooden house. Uh, it was around 20,000 square feet, and we had only like one computer. After the first month, we saw the grow, so we started buying more uh, equipment. We have right now three different warehouses. We have Utah, we have Pennsylvania, also we have Texas that is the headquarters. So the grow is there and we are buying equipment to be more efficient. Uh, you saw the conveyors, we have the conveyors in the two warehouses. Also we have uh, stress run machines to make everything more efficient. Um, I, I think everybody, you know, we're such a rapidly growing team. We're all empowered to, to find something, even if it's not necessarily in your job description, just to find something. And if you've never done it before, learn it, figure it out, and then go. And, you know, they definitely support you. It's awesome. Uh, just the other day, I had some people playing volleyball at my house and it was a little cold and, and my wife said, hey, should we start up a fire? And I said, yeah, I've only got about 10 minutes before I leave, but sure, I can do it. And so to be able to go out there and, and throw a couple of logs on and start up a fire and have it be roaring in 10 minutes, it's, it's really amazing. Most people in the company, I think they're their memories are created by using the products with their family. So I'm, I'm proud of what I do, but to be able to share the product that I work on with my family, it's, it means a lot to me. There's a lot of things you can buy, but you cannot buy time. And so as a brand, if we could give customers time back, we can give you more experiences. Our customers love that from box to burn is what we say, from box to burn in five minutes, you're in your backyard with a fire and nobody else can do that. We love our customers and we love our team internally and when your brand is just built on the idea of love and goodness, and that's a big one for us, the word good, it's just we look for good people, we try to do good, we try to be good, um, we try to launch good products. Good is kind of just inherent in who we are and it's just awesome. It's just fun being a part of something that's good. So as you can see, Solo Stove isn't just about a great product. It's about igniting more memories, more goodness, and more togetherness than ever before. For our next story, we go cross country to Pennsylvania, where a family of veterans is innovating the process for one of the most booming industries in the land, RV Adventures. Up Close RV was created to connect RV adventurers with property owners in premier locations who are looking to rent space on their land. We're bringing together property owners and RV owners as an alternative to overpriced, overcrowded campgrounds. It's a new concept. What we do is if you are a property owner and, or an RV owner, we bring those two together for mutual benefit. Property owner has a little extra space on their property and want to maybe rent that out to a, an RVer that's coming to town or whether you're close to a national park like here at Gettysburg, you can rent that space out and make a little extra income and the RV owner gets closer to where they want to be. The outdoor recreation industry has really grown over the past year and I think that trend is going to continue. It's a great way to invite these new inventive ideas and really, really add to the already existing industry. He uh, was stationed at the Pentagon and I decided I wanted to stay in Carlisle. So he bought a travel trailer and for two years lived in a campground in Stafford, Virginia and I stayed in Carlisle. Every morning on his commute into the Pentagon, he uh, would see 
driveways with RVs and he'd say, why can't I do that? Why do I have to have a one and a half, two hour commute both ways um, into work? And that's uh, how a close RV was born. This kind of opportunity as far as being able to, you know, rent space at somebody else's property, it does really open up a whole new experience that people probably really haven't considered before. So. The, the one great thing about the RV industry and the outdoor industry is that it is really growing and expanding and making room for new and inventive ideas. It's a very interesting thing to do. It's company, and I have not met anybody that's not friendly. It's just very enjoyable. I'd recommend it to anybody. Just before I retired, we started researching uh, what was going on in the RV industry, if this was a viable option and so found out that the campground industry is crowded and um, prices were escalating commensurate with the hotel industry. And so that's not why people bought their RV, right? They bought their RV to travel, to see the country and not have to pay an arm and a leg to, to do that. Uh, so that was the genesis of what Up Close RV is about. Our customers, from the RVing standpoint, the RVer is looking for economic place to stay, to get away from it all, to get away from the hustle and bustle or uh, to get closer to family, right? You know, sometimes when you're visiting family, the campgrounds are full or too far away or what have you. And so if there's a spot closer in town, they can um, find a spot that um, is more convenient for them. As a homeschooling military family, my kids had opportunities where they were able to meet different people from different walks of life. Um, sometimes even different cultures. We lived in Hawaii for three years and that was a great experience. We want Up Close RV to offer opportunities to hosts and travelers in the same way so people can meet different people from different walks of life. I had a sister who was an RVer, so she, I'd set up a couple of receptacles for her different rigs, so I had it there. So will this work? I sent them pictures, well, of course it would work. And it's very simple, it's the side of my house, side of my garage. Uh, on a little patch of grass and there's my neighbor's house right next door. The industry is always looking for ways to grow. You might be spending the weekend at your kid's soccer tournament and looking for a place to stay. It's so nice to give other options for people to use this type of property. I mean, right up the street, we're up the street from Possum Lake. So, I mean, you can get there within walking distance, which you might not have the opportunity to do otherwise. When we first started this concept, we were in two states. And then when I got mine, we were in three states. Now we're in 12 or 13 states, and I'm watching it expand. So uh, we are coast to coast, we are national. When you see a success and you see happy customers, and that's probably the biggest thing. When a person calls back and said, you know, I had a great time at Edna's house or at Dan's house, we had good interaction, that's a, that's a good thing. Interacting with people, if, if it can't be fun, it's not worth it. We're looking at community, right? We're looking at creating a group of folks that see the benefit and creating friendships and fellowships that celebrate in the freedom of the great outdoors, if you will, right? The hosts we have are just, they're phenomenal. You've already got driveway space. You've already got backyard. You've already got side yard. So why can't you rent that space out to, to someone who's looking for space? It's about creating these associations and creating friendships that are gonna last. The creators of our next featured brand love getting out onto the slopes in the winter, and what began as a way of avoiding crowded ski lodges ended up as a durable, portable, and popular way to provide the perfect tailgate, no matter the terrain. Let's check in with Tailgater Tire Table. So one day we're at the ski area and I saw something that triggered um, 
the tire table. And I thought, well, if it was supported by the tire, the stability would always be there regardless of the ground. Again, you don't need the ground at all, but the third leg can be put out and make it more solid. That idea popped in my head. I went home and my son had an old pitching catch that was falling apart. It had the bends that I needed to create a table. And I, I honestly think the next day I had a table that was functional. Taylor works for our company full time. She's our daughter. And she was at the mountain using our prototype. And this guy saw the table and he immediately wanted it. And she said, well, you know, I can't sell that to you. That's our prototype. She goes, well, let me call my father and I'll see if I could sell this to you because our order is coming in shortly. Ward said, yep, sell the table, get the $140, not a problem. And he wanted to have her sign the table and give an autograph, but unfortunately we didn't have a marker with us, but he left with our first table. So it was pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this episode full of the outdoors and great exploration. I'm Jana Angel. Tune in next time to see what's trending today.
today. Hope that was hot enough for you. I'm Jana Angel. We'll see you next time.